Welcome to another promising semester at the National Open University of Nigeria. There's a lot in stock for you as a student this semester and we'll be exploring some of those goodies in this video. New features have been added to the course page to make your learning much more exciting. But before we explore them, let's go through some of the activities you should perform on eLearn as a student. Uh, just one more thing before we jump into the video. Have you downloaded the eLearn Moodle app? If you have not done that, please do so before facilitation begins. Getting the app will ensure that you keep up with important deadlines and also receive vital updates from facilitators on the go. The app is available on the Google Play Store and Apple Store. The links to the respective video guides on how to get the app is right there in the description box below. So without much ado, let's move on. Before you can access most of your learning packages on eLearn, you need to access the platform first. The eLearn site address is https colon double forward slash elearn.nouedu2.net. If this is your first time on the platform, your default username and password is your matriculation number with NOU in lowercase. If you had access to eLearn before now, please maintain your password. If you have forgotten it, you can make use of the password reset or the forgot password option. Make sure your institution email has been activated because that is where the link will be sent to. As a first time user, you will be prompted to change your password from the default matric number to your preferred password. Type the default password in the first box and your preferred password in the second and third entry boxes and save changes. Make sure that the two passwords match. So, welcome to your dashboard. Now that you have changed your password, the next thing to do is to update your profile. To do this, go to this avatar at the top right hand corner, click on it and select profile. Now select edit profile. On this page, you can update your profile picture. To update your profile picture, you just select this icon here. You go into your device, you pick your preferred image, and then you upload. Once you're done with the updates here, you scroll down and tap on update profile. If you look to your right, you would see other students who are also completing activities on eLearn. If you're accessing eLearn on your system, you have the option to customize your dashboard. Later on, I will show you how you can chat with other students within your course page. On your dashboard, you can see all the courses you registered for listed here. You can also check the list by tapping on the My Courses Act icon at the left-hand side of your screen, like so. To the right, you have your timeline block. This is where all the time-bound activities will appear. It is even much better on the app. You can spend more time learning your dashboard in your free time. Before this video gets too long, let's check out the course page. Pick any of the courses and click on them to access the course page. Welcome to your course page. As a student, there are seven important activities to perform on your course page. And the first one is to check the announcement for the course. To do this, click on the announcement forum and read the information or updates posted by the facilitator. You are not required to post anything here. When there is an announcement available, you would see the announcement here. The next activity is to meet your facilitator. So in this page, the facilitator for your course would have introduced themselves. To access their short introduction, you click on the meet your facilitator page. It will open up and you can read whatever the facilitator has for you. 
Now that you know who your facilitator is, the next step is to introduce yourself to the facilitator and your course mates. To do this, click on the ice breaker, read the instruction and click on reply. When you're done typing, click on post to forum. Follow the same steps to interact with other forum posts. The next activity is to check out a brief overview of the course and the course resources. To do this, simply click on the course overview page and you will get access to whatever the facilitator has posted concerning this course. On the course resources section of your course page, you can access the e-courseware to download the PDF version of your course material and you can also access the Noun Central e-library resource. Any extra resources provided by the facilitator will also be found in this section. So make sure you always check it anytime you come to your course page. To participate in live facilitation, scroll down to the online facilitation section. Here you will find two icons. The first one is a page to access the recorded sessions. And the second one is the zoom icon that enables you to join the live class at the communicated time. Ensure that you have downloaded the zoom app on your device before clicking to access the class. Before we head to the next activity, let's check out how to access recorded sessions. On this page, you will find a link and a passcode right next to it. The first thing to do is to copy the passcode before proceeding to click on the link. Once you click on the link and the page loads up, you paste the password into the box here and you will be able to watch and download the recorded live session. The sixth activity to perform is to explore the course instructional videos. The instructional videos are high level summaries of the entire course provided to aid your learning. If there are instructional videos available for your course, you can access it by clicking on the course instructional videos. If you want to explore the noun video library, click on the icon over here and you will be taken there. However, to explore all the videos here, you need to create an account first. Once you do that, you'll be granted access to all the videos in the library for free. The final step is to take your TMAs. Each TMA has deadlines and prerequisites. Make sure you pay attention to them. To take your TME, simply click on the TME when it is opened to take the quiz. Don't forget to click on the submit button when you are done taking the TME. It is as simple as that. Please note that the activities to perform may not be limited to these alone. So make sure you always check the announcement and read updates from the facilitators as they may issue instructions from time to time. Now, finally, you can chat with your course mates right on your course page. To do that, you click on participants to show all the students registered to this course. And then you can click on the participants you want to chat with, and then you select send a message. With this, you can type your message to this student. You can also send a contact request to add this student to your contact list on eLearn and they can choose to reject or accept. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for your time and happy learning.